Hey folks, welcome back to the studio. In the previous video, we talked about making gradients in PowerPoint and using them to create a few simple slides. Today, let's take this a step further and learn how to make these beautiful PowerPoint layouts using the methods we learned previously. So, let's get started. So, as our first step, I've already pre-selected three gradients that we'll be using for this exercise. Uh, I've done this in the exact way that we discussed in the previous video, and I'll be using these three palettes to work on our entire layout. So let's start with making this slide. Let's take a look at it first. All right, now create a new slide and let's begin. First, let's right click and go to Format Background and choose a dark color. Then, close this and go and create a rectangle with rounded corners on your slide. Stretch it across. Go to Shape Outline and remove the outline. Then, this yellow dot here, click on it and drag it to minimize the rounds on the corners. Once we have this, right click on your shape and go to Format Shape. Select Picture or Texture Fill and go to Insert Picture. Uh, insert the picture from wherever you have it saved and click on it. This will automatically fill the picture in to the dimensions of the box we created. Now the picture is slightly squashed because our box is in these dimensions. So how do we fix that? Click on picture tools and format and go to crop. Do not select the black markers. Instead, select the little circles that are around the picture and drag it up or down depending on how much you want it to appear. Once you have your picture aligned, let's bring in our gradients. Uh, for the first gradient, I'll select this purple to pink gradient and bring it onto our slide. Click on the Format tab and go to Edit Shape. Change Shape and click on Oval. This converts our rectangle into an oval shape, which we can then drag and make into a circle. To get your dimensions perfect, you can go to the height and width of the shape and make it equal for both. Then adjust your shape to fit the outside boundaries of the slide. Keep an eye on the sidebar. This is where you can see how the shape is looking on the slide. So let's adjust it. Let's bring in our next shape. Do the same. Format, edit shape, do oval, adjust the size. and place it over. So I'm looking here to make sure that the adjustment is correct. And finally, I'll bring in our red to purple gradient. And once again, edit the shape and change the size. We now want to take this shape 
behind the initial shape we created. So select the shape, press Ctrl and select the picture. Now you have both the shapes selected. Right click and send to back. This ensures the new shape goes behind the purple one but stays in front of the picture. Then we can drag it and adjust it however we need. Right click on the shape, go to format shape and let's adjust the transparencies so that the picture is slightly visible behind. Copy the shape, paste it again and once again send it to back. We'll adjust the shapes and the transparencies. So that they, they are overlapping but you can still see the picture behind. In order to delineate these shapes a little more, we can add a shadow effect to them by going to Shape Effects, Shadow and here I'll choose the shadow that's on the bottom offset. And this creates a delineation between our shapes. We can also play with the shadow effects a little more and blur them. So it's not a sharp shadow. And here we've created a basic layout. Now all that remains for us to do is to bring our text over. Once again, looking at the thumbnails, we can adjust the placement of our text and make sure that it is not overlapping any of the shapes. There we go. Let's move on to our next slide. New slide. Select one of your gradients. Paste it onto this slide and drag it across to make it the background. Then you can select another gradient shape, paste it and take it to the other corner. Press shift and drag it down so it maintains its ratio. And once again check in your thumbnails how it's fitting into the slide. Copy and paste this and make it slightly smaller. Right click on this gradient, go to format shape and instead of gradient fill, click on picture fill, insert picture and let's adjust our picture again by going to crop, selecting the round buttons and slightly widening the image to fit the right proportions. A little more. Check the placement of the image. And then bring in the orange shape. Make it a little bit smaller. Now what I've done is in this slide I've made the orange shape a little more transparent so the picture and shapes behind are visible. So we format shape, click on our gradient stops and increase the transparency values. And there we have it. A quick and easy way to make gradient layouts. Our third slide. First of all, 
let's insert a picture and paste it onto our slide. Let's adjust the size of the picture by pressing Ctrl, Shift and then dragging it so that its proportions do not change. Adjust the placement of the image and crop out any unnecessary parts. Then select one of your gradient shapes and paste it onto the picture. Drag it across the slide, right click and once again adjust the transparencies so that our image is nicely visible in the background. Then let's bring our orange shape onto this slide. Go to format shape, edit shape and change it to a rounded rectangle. Drag it across Adjust it to the center. Maybe make it smaller. Adjust your curvature. Type some text that you need. In this case, I'll make it an uppercase font. Increase the size. And I'll also increase the line spacing a little bit. You can make it a little larger. Align your font to the center of your shape. Now select the shape first and then select the font. Go to Format, Merge Shapes and Subtract. And this creates a nice transparent plate with the text cut out in it. And for our final slide, let's begin by bringing in a picture. Control Shift, drag the picture and crop it out. Now, in this, we have added a gradient to the text. So in order for this to be clearly legible, we want to make this picture a little darker. So let's create a box over this picture, drag it across, remove the shape outline, and fill it with a dark color. Then, reduce the transparency so that the picture is visible, but is dulled out. Then we can add our text. Now in order to fill your text in with a gradient color, instead of shape options, go to text options and click on gradient fill. Whatever gradient you worked on previously will automatically get filled into the text. You can then bring in a few shapes and decorate the slide. And there, you've created a nice gradient layout. And in no time at all, we've created these beautiful gradient layouts. And that's all for today. Remember to keep on creating and see you next time.